Okay, so this is clothes. Look at how they resemble bones and teeth. They look like a to tooth with a root on it. And this is my clove water. This is a glass spray bottle. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. But this I keep in the fridge and I spray myself with it every time I get out of the shower. It's great for skin conditions, rashes, acne, boils, anything like that. Now, how do you make this clove water? I'm going to show you because I'm getting ready to make a fresh batch. Okay, these are cloves. Depends how strong you want it. I usually put two tablespoons, maybe three. Two is good. Two is good. You can put more or less. Depends how strong you want it. And then you just fill it cover it with water and yes I'm gonna put more in because I want it stronger so four and then all you do is cover this and put it in the fridge and in three days it's ready it will turn this dark color and then it's good for up to day 12. But if you keep it in the fridge, it's good for longer. But you can literally just spray this on your face, on your skin. It keeps your skin clear. It's good for rashes, acne, psoriasis, eczema, anything like this. This is life. I love my clove water, especially directly out of the fridge. And it's just as easy to make as this. And you can also use this as a mouthwash in emergency if you have toothache. You can also use this as a mouthwash. You can also use this clove oil with olive oil and drop this directly on your tooth for toothache. And uh, this, you do half essential oil. You use half of essential oil in this little clove bottle and you fill it up with half olive oil. Clove is everything, it's antiseptic. So here's my clove water ready to go. Here's my clove water, here's my immediate toothache pain relief with clove um, essential oils mixed with half olive oil and this is just such a refreshing body spray I just love it you can even spray it on your hair it's great